The flatten feature is used exclusively for print then cut, and we're gonna go over everything you need to know. My name is Kelly, and let's get clacking. If you're wanting to have the typical die cut sticker look, where it's just a sticker, a white outline, and that's it, then you need to make sure that you have your design, that you've added an offset to your design, you've selected both of the layers, right click and flatten. If when you are printing and cutting, if it's cutting in the middle section and it's cutting all of the little bits out, that means that your design is not flattened correctly. So go back to your canvas and check the layers panel on the right hand side of the screen. Each layer there will show you exactly what it's going to do and where the Cricut will cut. So if you have any basic cut operations or even multiple print and cut layers, that means that the Cricut will cut in that specific place. So make sure to select your design and flatten it so that it'll only cut the outline. If you're wanting to cut the outline and also add a fun feature like score or foil or maybe even a deboss, what you will need to do is add another layer for whatever feature that you want to have, set the operation to that feature, and now you will need to attach. But you need to make sure that the flattened print then cut design is one layer and one layer only. And the second layer is the other feature that you want to use. So if you want to have it foiled, you will need to have print then cut as one layer and foil as your second layer. And with those two attached to each other, you are good to go. A good indication that your design hasn't flattened correctly before you print and cut your design will be in the print preview. If your bleed feature is on and you see your design looks completely different to what you have designed, then that may mean that your flatten hasn't been done correctly. What the bleed feature will do is it will add a small outline to every way that the Cricut will cut. So if you see lots of bleed everywhere, that means that the Cricut wants to cut everywhere because the design hasn't been flattened properly. So go back to your canvas, select your design, right click and flatten. Or if you don't have an outline or a shape to your design, let's say you want to make a bookmark, add in the shape that you want the bookmark to be cut in, send it to the back, select everything, and flatten your design. That's super important to make sure that your print and cut projects come out perfectly. Next up, we're gonna look at the slice feature. So I'll see you there and remember, be kind to someone today. See you soon.